Hi, this is Tara and welcome to my home studio here in London. This is a 15 minute Pilates workout for your glutes and your thighs. All you need is a mat. So go and grab one and we are ready to start. So start by lying on your back with your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Just take a moment to feel your body and bring your attention to where you are right now. Bring your hands to your chest. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands down by your side. Take the soles of your feet onto the mat. Let's make a warm up for the spine. So just contract your glutes, feel that your spine imprints on the mat. Start to roll your hips up and then roll all the way back down. So you're articulating this movement through each part of your spine, moving bone by bone. really nice and relaxing it's like giving yourself a lovely massage this allows you to kind of get into that focus for the rest of our exercises now hold your hips up into the air lift up your arms palms face in shoulders off the mat start to contract into your glutes and push your hips up towards the ceiling so both the glutes are contracting equally on both sides. Strong movements, press with energy. Eight, and four, three, two, one. Now squeeze the left glute and then the right glute. So you're just having a bit of a twist there. So you're alternating the movement from side to side. It's a strong, staccato movement, press, press, feeling the power of your glutes as they move independently, eight, and four, three, two, one, now hold your hips level, take up your left leg, straighten the leg, draw some circles, point to your toes, keep that leg long and extended, now change direction so those circles are small and controlled keeping your balance inhale exhale flex your foot bring it down bring the leg down inhale exhale keep the hips level inhale exhale and five four three two and one, you're probably feeling the other leg shaking. Now squeeze through the right glute mat and push and push. That's it, press the toes towards the ceiling. Three, two, one. Take the left foot down, reset your posture. Let's go straight away to the other side to so lift up the right leg. Draw those small circles. You're in control. You're bringing your attention to the exercise. And change the other way. Inhale, exhale, flex down, point up. Exhale, inhale, six, five, four more. Last one, and ready, contract through the left glutes, push the toes up towards the ceiling. Using your breath, four, three, two, one, and bring your knees in towards your hands or back to your thighs, roll yourself up. Come through onto all fours, anyhow you can. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Extend your left leg back. Press up. So activating through the glutes and the hamstrings. Foot is flexed, toes pointing down towards the floor. Four more. Now hold it up and push and press. The rest of the body stays totally calm and still. Neck is long, shoulders are away from the ears. Now point your toes and draw those little circles. Feeling the inner and outer thighs activate here. 
keeping the legs long and change. Make the movement seamless and smooth. Now keeping the toes pointed, stretch the leg all the way over to the right side and then bring it to the left. The rest of the body stays still so you're not twisting in the upper body. Inner thighs, outer thighs for four more. Last one, keep the leg out to the side, lift for eight. Four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in, flex the foot, push up with a flex foot up to the ceiling. Big range of movement there. Glutes and hamstrings. They want to stamp on the ceiling for four more. Now hold it up and push and press. Keep the pelvis stable. That's it. Ready for four, three, two, one. Point your toes. Bring the knee in and circle. Two more in that direction. And switch. Bring the knee underneath the hip, flex your foot, lift to the side and back. So you're keeping the hips level, so you're lifting to the side without hiking the hip up. Next one, hold it and keep it elevated and push and press, press, press. That's it, you've got this. Well done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Come into your side line position. So you're leaning into your forearm, lift the obliques, bend the bottom knee, hips stacked on top of each other. Lift the legs, you're elevating the leg and extending. Now lift and lower. So big range of movement here. Keep the shoulders down. Using your breath to help you with the movement. Gives you energy, it fuels you. Now hold the leg in line with your hip and smaller presses. Eight more. Now bring the knee in with the toes pointed. Stretch the leg, flex the foot. So you're bicycling the leg round. Six more. Working on the mobility of your hip, feeling the hamstrings and the glutes. Last one, now reverse. So straighten the leg, then point the toes, bend the knee. Just four more. Last one. Now reach the leg back behind you. So if you look at your hip, the leg is behind you, lift, lift. So you're feeling your glute medius right on the top here, activate. So your glute medius is a hip rotator and it helps to keep your pelvis in a stable position. It's great, it's a great muscle and it's very important, especially to help the posture and support the lower back. Eight more counts, and four, three, two, one. Now bring your knee in, internally rotate, and kick up to the ceiling. Six more. Make sure that you stay lifted and not sagging. You've got four, three, two, last one. Keep that leg lifted, now take it all the way to the front. Lift it up and to the back. So it's like you're drawing a huge rainbow shape. Four, three, two, stay focused. Last one. And bringing yourself all the way up and over to the other side. So back onto all fours. 
and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So get yourself ready, slide the right leg back. So now, I know, now you know what you're doing, you're going to go with even more control and energy. Four. Now hold it and pulse. Eight more, back is long, shoulders down. Now point your toes, small circles, that's it. Keep the alignment strong, change direction. Take the leg over to the left side and then to the right. Inner thighs, outer thighs. The upper half of the body stays totally calm and still. Four. Last one, hold it out to the side and lift. Slide the leg in, flex the foot, push up to the ceiling. Glutes and hamstrings. So you will feel your stabilizing leg, so the left leg also working here. Hold it up and press. With those pulses keep the knee in line with the hip. And four, three, two, one. Point your toes, bring the knee in and circle. Stay with your concentration, change the other way. Now flex your foot, lift to the side. Four more, goes quickly. <laughs> and ready, hold it up. Eight, and four, three, two, one. Release and come onto your sideline position. So onto your forearm, push up, extend the top leg, hips stacked in line. Okay, ready, lift up, full range of movement. Feeling the outside of the thigh here. Let's do one more. And now, ready, hold the pulses, press, push. That's it, keeping the grace. And four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in, point the toes, and bicycle. Inhaling, exhaling. Four, three, Last one, let's reverse it. So flex the foot forward, point and stretch. Last one. Now take the leg back behind your hip. Let's work into the glute medius. Press and extend, so you're really stretching on the diagonal. Keep control through the rest of the body, so although we're working the glutes and the hips, you don't want to forget about the rest of the body. Keep that strong alignment. Now bring the knee in, internally rotate, and kick up to the ceiling. Really feeling this through the inner thigh and the outer thigh. Extend. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it up and then take it all the way forwards and all the way back. So massive rainbow shape. Going for four more. Watch that you're not sagging into your shoulder. Keep the lift.
last one and just release roll onto your back let's have a quick stretch take your left leg over your right leg figure of four stretch open the collarbones wide big breath in exhale and change to the other leg so switch it over flex your feet Send your breath to any parts of your body that feel tight and stiff. Release, roll yourself up. Just stretch your legs out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, just grab hold of your feet, your ankles or your shins and just take a stretch for the hamstrings. Exhale, reach your arms up and over and you have finished. Thank you so, so much for being part of my workout. If you enjoyed this class, please like and subscribe and I'm hoping that I will see you in a class very soon. Thank you so much.